You feel so good when you come in after pipe. Yes, these boys and girls are healthy and health wants them to stay that way. But right now, she's noticing how many empty places there are. Do you know why? Because of colds. Yes, some of the boys and girls are missing school. They have to stay home with colds. Billy doesn't have a cold, though, and he doesn't want one. Let's pretend we can see right inside bed. We'll see a drawing of a healthy nose. And a healthy mouth. This part of your head. And a healthy throat. Let's take a closer look. The mucous membrane is the thin, tender lining all over the inside of the nose and mouth and throat. The fluid called mucus flows from the mucous membrane. When you are well, just enough mucus flows to help keep your nose and throat clean. That's the way Billy's nose and throat are, because he is well. Billy's friend, Dick, is absent today. Dick isn't having much fun, because he's at home in bed. He doesn't feel very well. He has a headache, and he didn't feel like eating breakfast. His nose is running so much, he has to keep blowing it. When Dick blows, he blows the right way, very gently, and he holds the tissue loosely. He never squeezes his nose. Well, Dick's mother knows how to take care of him. Mother isn't certain it's only a cold, since this is the first day Dick has felt this way. Some other diseases, such as measles and scarlet fever, start out pretty much like colds. So, Mother will watch Dick's temperature. And if he has a fever for more than a day or two, she'll call the doctor. She keeps Dick warmly covered in bed, but not too warm. Dick puts his used paper handkerchiefs in a bag so his mother can burn them because they may have cold germs on them. What about medicine for Dick to take? Well, he has none. And he won't use any unless his doctor tells him to. Dick will get well best if he stays here in bed resting. That's the important thing to do for a cold. Uh-oh, this isn't much fun. That running nose again. What's going on inside Dick's nose and throat? Well, somehow, cold germs or virus, too small to see, got a start in here and made his throat red and sore. The inside of his nose felt dry and itchy. Have you ever felt like that? Well, when you have a cold, the mucous membrane swells up to help fight the cold germs. And the mucus flows much more than usual. Acting like a wall, the mucus and swelling nearly block Dick's nose. So, of course, he can't breathe very well. And when he sneezes, imagine what would happen at school. Those tiny drops of mucus could carry cold germs around the room. So, Dick's seat is empty because he stayed home, just as we all should do if we have a cold, so we can keep the air in our classrooms clean. And that's why Miss Ellis watches the boys and girls so carefully. Oh, look here. Mary's sniffling. Well, at least when she sneezes, she covers her nose. But she might be starting a cold. So, Mary must go see the school nurse and perhaps go home. If she does have a cold, she should not be here spraying cold germs into the air. She'll take care of her cold right away. Miss Ellis and her class know it isn't any fun to have colds. So they will talk about some things to do to help prevent colds. First, stay away from colds. Just what does that mean? Well, we stay home when we have a cold. We try to keep colds out of the air. But there are other things to do. 
to stay away from colds. You've seen boys wrestling like this, but if you wrestle with a boy who has a cold, you could get cold germs from him very easily. Maybe you used to trade bites, but there could easily be cold germs on food someone else has been eating. When someone with a cold handles his books or his pencils, cold germs could easily get on them. And you might pick up some of the germs from those books. Those are some of the things we all can do to stay away from colds. Next, avoid chilling. What happens when you are chilled? Well, suppose you go outside with clothes that aren't warm enough. What happens inside your nose and throat? When you are chilled, not as much mucus flows. Spots of the mucous membrane are left dry. Then cold germs can more easily get a start. And that's what sometimes happens when you are chilled. But did you know that you can be chilled by getting too hot? Oh, oh, Jack doesn't want to get too hot. When you're very warm, your body is wet with perspiration. Then it's very easy to cool off too fast, and so be chilled. Billy thinks of some other things you should do to avoid chilling. When you come home from school every day, check over your clothes to be sure they are dry. Cap and jacket all right on the inside, but Billy's mittens, they're soaked. Now wet clothing can chill you very early. So Billy will put on a dry pair of mittens before going out again. Now outside for some fun. It's a good idea to play outside, but be sure to dress warmly and keep your feet dry so you won't be chilled. And later the fun turns into a snow battle. Uh-oh, Billy got it in the neck. Well, it's getting close to supper time, and he'll go into the house now to dry out before he gets chilled. As soon as he comes inside, Billy takes off all his wet clothes. At home and at school, Billy takes care to avoid chilling. Now, what else should we do? Billy would like to explain the third poster. He made it to show some good health habits. One is exercise. He gets good outdoor exercise to help keep his body strong. Another good health habit is eating the right foods. Meat and potatoes and vegetables are important for health. Mmm, and they taste good too. And look over here. Tomato juice, milk, fresh salads with lettuce, fruit. Eating the right kinds of food is a good health habit. And of course, Billy always washes his hands with soap and water before he eats. Billy has another good health habit. He gets lots of sleep and rest. Exercise, good food, sleep. Those are good health habits. And now let's remember some of the things we've learned about having fewer colds. When you have a cold, take care of it. Rest in bed. Keep warm, but not too warm, and stay away from other people. And these are some of the things to do to help prevent colds. Stay away from colds. Avoid chilling. Warm clothes for outdoors, but take off your wraps indoors. And practice good health habits. Exercise, good food, 